Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon. It is a, or evening. It's like 6.30. I am just coming back from work and I want to vlog this week. I did forget to vlog this morning before going into work, but I am committed and I'm going to do it. Um, so like I said, it's Monday afternoon at 6.30. I was on call this past weekend, so I am not on call tonight, which is nice. It's beautiful out. Um, I was on call last weekend and the weekend before actually. So I'm on a pretty long stretch of work straight. Um, so I'm excited to finish this week off and then Mark's parents are coming this weekend. So it'll be fun. So I thought I would vlog this week for you guys. We have some cool stuff going on. I think I'm just gonna try and take a walk tonight and enjoy the weather and then get some sleep because I really, really need it. So Mark and I got our house professionally clean today. Um, we get it done once a month and it just makes such a difference and it's so nice coming home to a clean house But I also have been trying to squeeze every last bit of serotonin out of everything and so I've been shopping online a fair amount And this is one of the things that in my state of being sad, I have bought. It's a little boot. <laughs> and then it has like a match lighting thing on the bottom and some matches. That's it. I thought it was cute. So I bought that. And then I also really need a one piece bathing suit just for like family gatherings, kids, um, Mark sisters and stuff. I also bought this bathing suit from Lily Pulitzer. It's very cute. Excited. I didn't film it um, because I forgot that I was vlogging briefly. But Mark and I took a walk, which was lovely. We ran into three people I know, um, two of whom were from my residency program. So crazy out of like the 15 people, I ran into two of them um, on one 30 minute walk. But I'm home now. I was just watching some TikTok, um, sitting in our living room, which I don't know if I've showed you guys. So basically after my roommate moved out, we, um, she had like the big couch. So now we have this little couch that was in my med school apartment that's like miniature um, and then no carpet because we moved the carpet that was in here up to our guest room because she also moved out of the guest room. So we had to refurnish the guest room, which I'll actually show you. But we've been looking at carpet samples. Um, I'm gonna lay them out and then I'll show you. So these are the samples that we have. Most of them are blue and then this one's tan. This is actually the same print that we have in our um, office, but with a dark brown. And I just like really love the design of it, but I don't think we want tan. So these were the ones. We really liked this one, but it was like really expensive. And then we actually found a remnant of this one, which was like way less expensive. So we bought that. So this is gonna be ready hopefully on Saturday. So I'm really excited to pick that up. And then we ordered a new couch and chair. The couch is white and it's like really big, like it's L-shaped and it'll go like that. And then we have bought a leather reclining chair. Um, unfortunately, the couch will not be here until June and the chair until October. So until then, we're just gonna have this little baby, but everything's kind of coming together. And then this we bought from Target. It was basically gonna be a side table for the guest room, but it was like way too small. So we just kind of put it there because we already assembled it. This is what the guest room looks like now. Obviously Mark's clothes are everywhere, but um, these side tables came this weekend. So we put those together and then we bought lamps last night that will go on them. So slowly coming together, I think we're gonna get a like little dresser. Oh, we're gonna get a dresser for this wall. This is like a print that we really like. So we're gonna get a dresser for this wall. And then we're gonna get like a stool or something for over here. There's the other side table. So yeah. 
I am going to take a shower now because I've had Olaplex in my hair since yesterday. I have no idea if that's like terrible for my hair, um, but I was too lazy to wash it out. So I'm going to wash it out today, take a shower. I ate like a massive meal. I ate like two breakfasts and then I didn't eat anything till 3 p.m. And then I was like ravenous. And so then I ate a huge meal at 3 p.m. So my eating schedule has been really off today, but I think I'm just going to make a little smoothie for dinner since I'm not that hungry and try to chill out tonight. Dinner of champions. Cheese and crackers. And smoothie, I put some kale, some frozen blueberries, some mango, some milk, and some like whey protein in there. So good. Hello. <clears throat> it is 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. I am very sorry I forgot to vlog until right now, literally. I had a busy day. Tuesdays are historically the worst day. I, I don't know why, but also the emergency room, it's also the worst day because I talked to one of them on the phone. So historically, really bad days in hospitals and we did not have a great day. Um, we still have some active stuff going on um, with some floor patients. So I'm sitting on my floor uh, dealing with that right now. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really vlogged today. I forgot to vlog in the morning. I'm going to try and do that. And then it's just been kind of crazy. But I just talked to Joanna on FaceTime for a little bit, which was nice. We kind of like caught up a little bit. And then tomorrow we have a meeting. It's called a SWAT meeting. And it's something that I think is pretty unique to our program. It's something that they do in businesses. And it's like strengths, weak weaknesses, opportunities, threats, and we do it about our residency program. So it's kind of cool. We have that tomorrow. So I'm not on call tomorrow. I'm on call tonight. Um, and then I'm on call Thursday night and then I have this weekend off. So just trying to handle some of this stuff on the floor. Um, hopefully get some sleep, but I'm sure I just jinxed myself. Hello. It is 9.45. I am on my way back from the hospital. I just went back in to check on a patient. Um, not so much because there was really like a ton going on, but more because I just get very anxious. Um, if there's even like a little thing going on, I get very anxious. So I just like to go so I can sleep at night. And you know what? I feel better and I'm hoping I just will not stress out too much but yeah it, it does make me feel better so I'm always glad I do this and this is a reason why I live close to the busiest hospital because I do stuff like this it's Friday it is 5 45 I am just getting ready to go to work I had a very chill night on call last night really nothing happened and I just am ready to honestly get this day over with. Um, I want to sleep in, I want to chill, I want to have a weekend off. This is my 19th straight day of work, so I am very ready for a weekend off. So I'm just making my peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I make every morning for breakfast. I'm bringing some pad thai leftovers for lunch. I'm just gonna get through the day. Hello, it's Wednesday of the next week. All the clips you just saw were a compilation of clips from my vlog last week. I am going to post it because it's what I got. And um, sometimes I think people enjoy maybe just getting a glimpse into what a resident chaotic life is. Um, but I had a pretty good weekend. Mark's parents came, so we just hung out and went out to a lot of dinners. I'm on call tonight and this weekend, but I go on vacation soon, so I'm very excited about that. So just kind of gearing up. We have five weeks left in this rotation, and then I go on my um, more chill, like, rotation, infertility, and then a research month. So I'm really looking forward to that after this busy rotation. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a view into what life's been like recently. And um, I hope you subscribe and stick around for some more uh, cohesive content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.